Really quickly, let's go over back to Josh Letterman, who has been following this breaking news out of Monterey Park, California, for a quick update from Josh before we get to authorities. Hey, Josh. Hey, Corey, police have just released photographs of the suspect in this case, who is still, as far as we know, loose at this moment. Police are reaffirming that they believe that this was an Asian male suspect. They say that it was someone with dark complexion, uh, and they are characterizing this person as about 5 foot 10, 150 pounds, uh, saying that the suspect was wearing a black leather jacket, a beanie, uh, and glasses. We're going to try to get that photo that police have now publicly released uh, for you all to see just as soon as possible. P -p Police clearly making this public because they want the public's help at this hour in trying to identify where this person is and to bring him into custody. Police are also now associating uh, this individual with both the incident here uh, in Monterey Park and in the incident just up the road about 10 minutes away in Alhambra. They are listing both addresses uh, in the notice that they have now put out with the photo photographs of this suspect, law enforcement saying that this person should be treated as a homicide suspect. So that uh, speaks to the level of concern from law enforcement and safety officials on the ground right now that this person still is on the loose at this point in time. Uh, but certainly they have a better description now and are confident enough that this person uh, was the same individual involved in both incidents that they're able to put out that information uh, to the public. Uh, any minute now we are expecting another update from law enforcement here in Monterey Park who are going to give us the latest in what uh, they have been able to find out and hopefully we'll be able to learn from them whether they have a specific individual who they believe that this is. Ostensibly they have had a chance at this point to interview overnight many of the surviving witnesses and get what they might have known if anybody uh, was able to recognize and identify this person during the incident that might be information that law enforcement would be able to share. But clearly the big headline right now is that police are releasing this photograph uh, as well as this specific identifying information about this Asian male that they say uh, was believed to be involved both in the incident here in Monterey Park that left 10 people so far dead uh, and in this other incident about 10 minutes away uh, where nobody apparently was injured but there was another potentially attempted uh, mass shooting. I'll send it back to you. Okay, Josh, so really quickly, before we let you go, I want to confirm police are releasing a photograph of the suspect that they want the public to see, not a sketch. Uh, is that correct? And can you give anybody out there watching, in case they missed that description that you gave just moments ago, can you give us that description one more time? Absolutely. So according to law enforcement, they say this was an Asian male uh, of dark complexion, about five foot ten and 150 pounds, wearing a black leather jacket and a beanie and glasses. Uh, these are photographs that they have released. It appears that they have been taken from uh, some type of surveillance video. So they're not sketches. They are uh, kind of blurry photographs. Uh, and again, police associating that individual with both incidents uh, and saying in their notice to the public uh, that this individual should be treated as a homicide suspect. Corey? And I do know that, uh, Josh, we've mentioned and we've heard you guys mention in your reporting uh, possible uh, look, be on the lookout for a white van. Obviously, no other markers from there. We do see um, from our footage that we're showing people right now, out of Monterey Park, police have a van surrounded. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct van. Are you, is your reporting telling you anything about this vehicle that police have surrounded? Only what we're able to observe with our own eyes, which is exactly uh, as you pointed out, that they do appear to have a, a white van that has been surrounded. But again, it's not possible at this point in time to know whether uh, that is the van in question, whether it is something police are looking into. And we should say throughout the last several hours, as is usual in these kinds of breaking news situations and tragedies, there's been a lot of information that has appeared on social media or has started to float around in text messages, et cetera. Some of it doesn't turn out to be true. And so that's one reason we, as well as law enforcement, are being very cautious before uh, they go beyond what we can definitively say at this point, which is that police have said that a white cargo van is a van of interest at this point, again, associated with that second incident that did not result in injuries, uh, but apparently involved an attempted shooting uh, or gun-related incident about 10 minutes away from here in the community of Alhambra.
Uh, here's the picture, by the way. So we finally getting the picture in now. So these images here of the suspect are from uh, surveillance footage.